we had uh... <laughs> in my in my grade school gym class, I think I was like seventh or eighth grade. We they had like this lady who I realized like every gym teacher I've ever had is always like a lesbian. For sure. So like yeah, this, I had one of those. This lady, Except for one I had. <laughs> we had a gym teacher. She used to ride a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <it's> enough. <laughs> We had this gym teacher, this lesbian used to ride a Kawasaki Ninja to collect this <laughs> Yes. I'm just realizing this now. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, sick, dude. man. <laughs> she was so weird. But, like, yeah, lady gym teachers are the weirdest <laughs> no, people on earth. She was bizarre. She, like... She like made it this big deal to get this uh like different teachers would put on assemblies. Because <laughs> <laughs> the gym teacher here, I'll get into your Please level go. of psychology here. Because the gym teacher, female gym teacher that's a lesbian, still has that nurturing side where she's like, I want to work with kids, I want to be around children and help them develop. But boy, do I love sports! <laughs> I'm gonna be a gym teacher, get these kids in, get into gear. <laughs> I'm gonna take my ninja down to the class, <laughs> dude. She she was room on the Kawasaki. Dude. So we, we, every like you know, people set up different um, presentations. I remember she made this big deal to get like this. It was like an African tribal song band. Or something. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in a couple of blacks banging on some drums, teach these kids about culture. <laughs> she was like gym teacher, well, real close to macho. I know, I know. She, she was like, really she, was like oh, yeah. she was like 1992 woke. So she was like, we got like when Paul yeah. Simon started like going and like playing in Africa. <laughs> so she had like. She brought th- th- these dudes and played this, and like I remember her, like st- like these guys came down. They're like JJ Kool Aid. <laughs> they <laughs> sang about Kool Aid. She hired a bunch of black dudes from Philly, gave them dashikis, and was like, I don't know, sing about whatever you guys talk about. I, was just, I don't know, make up a Kool Aid song. I don't fucking know. No, it was Kool Aid. It was J- <laughs> it was JJ Kool Aid, and then like they, they're like, and they would go J, and they clap their hands. And we we're all supposed to sing along, but our whole school just stared at them and was like, "What the fuck is this?" Uh, no. <laughs> and then Miss Campbell, the gym teacher, stood up and faced us all and went, "JJ," <laughs> <laughs> and clapped her hands. We all just still looked at her like, "What? Like, no, we're not fucking doing this shit." <laughs> it was so oh, fucking. Fuck. That's a horrendous bomb for those dudes to <laughs> bomb for the kids like that. Oh. You can't get them to I mean, chant with you. Go- there was definitely a couple girls. Because grade school girls, they always were fucking annoying. They get up like, I'll do it. And everyone's yeah. looking at them like, shut the fuck up. But then, like, so that was his backstory on this lady. So we would do in gym class when we played baseball. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play at all. I would just be the other team's manager. <laughs> and then every call, she was the ump. And every call she called, I'd come out and be like, Are you? Are you serious, Miss Campbell? Get out of here! And I got ejected from gym. <laughs> She made oh, me go fuck. sit on the swing. So I was like, you must be blind. Dude, she, Dude it was so funny. We had a gym teacher, a female gym teacher that would call call all the kids snake. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I don't know. She was nuts, dude. Hey, she snake. was like, yeah, she was like, uh, she was in the military. <laughs> So she, I don't know what she was nuts, dude. But she would see. She'd be like, "Get him, snake! Get him!" Like, kids what would be fuck? like, "Come here, snakes!" <laughs> like, the kids and then I'll never. It's one of the funniest fucking things ever. And it's not going to translate to this. But me and a couple of my friends were juniors in high school, and we were at a basketball game, and we were leaving, and we were walking past her, and she was just some crazy lady. But she like saw us leaning by, walking by her in the stands and she like leaned forward to like give us high fives on the uh-huh. way out and she was like senioritis uh, not yet <laughs> she, she, she like panicked and realized we were juniors oh. she was like trying to be cool when we were walking she goes, senioritis <laughs> not yet <laughs> and we were like what the fuck dude I mean I can't think of a, like a catholic school gym teacher of the hiring process was probably just like how they scouted and hired that yeah. position must be so fucking funny. Oh, fuck. High school gym was some of the most fun ever because right after me and my friend Matt learned that like, oh, this doesn't count because we had a female gym teacher, Mary Lodge, who was old and didn't <laughs> give a fuck and like very diminutive. So like yeah. we realized like, oh, we can do anything. So like we would go play tennis and like me and him had a thing called mega tennis where like we just wouldn't play by the rules and just be like, and hit it as hard as we can and somebody would be like boom and like she'd be like stop doing that and we were just like terrorists in that fucking class that's awesome it was like it also won't translate but some of the gym class just wonderful I fucking loved it man 
Just I, really a lot of good nut I mean, shots. I got hit in the dick once. That did sucked. you? Yeah, pin guard. No I was a uh, dude. I uh, guard the pin, <laughs> and then I didn't talk. Dude, I it was just, fucking down. I don't think there's a like a, a funnier thing than when they do when they, we did gym class dodgeball when it's boys versus or it's like boys versus girls oh or like my mixed God, teams. It's a, massacre. a girl would always get hit in the head and cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was usually my boy Bert. Like, watch this, dude, and he would just be like, launch a fucking ball. You may and, remember Bert from the prison <laughs> prison episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally, yeah, I remember, I remember, it's just funny when you're a little kid and it's like you're playing dodgeball and then we had a girl who was like kind of, not retarded but like totally like whacked in some way. Oh. And I remember just being like as a little kid like oh my god I can't wait to throw this ball at this retarded girl it's gonna be so funny. Oh man, and you're just like I wonder what happens. You're like oh she cries. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Dude, the, like the last semester of like eighth grade or whatever, we did like pin guard, and the gym teachers were like, "Oh, this is great! It's the last day!" And they were sitting on the mats, and like I forget what's pin guard. I'm sorry, uh, Greek dodgeball, same kind of thing. There's two bowling pins set up, and so you, you say put, Greek put, dodgeball? Yeah, <laughs> what's it, same, what's it hiding in a room, not trying to get butt fucked? <laughs> <laughs> You do on two sides of a basketball court. We were playing uh, pin guard. It's like, wait, what's pin guard? You know, great dodgeball. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, that's when about? little boys bend over on a couch and close their eyes and uncle fucking runs around. <laughs> what are we playing? Great dodgeball. <laughs> it's some fucking dodgeball game where you got to throw it and hit the beat. There's gator balls that were loud and thudding, but they didn't yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. anybody up. So this one kid was like ran up to the line to try to fucking really annihilate somebody and just turned 90 and fucking blasted the female gym teacher in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Stop! I wonder if that's part of like the female gym teacher test is like they just have like a pitching machine chucking <laughs> softballs at you. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. she got, it. she ate it, dude. Oh, that's fuck. God damn it! Oh my god! But we were little kids, so we didn't know to laugh. We were just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what dude, my, like, there was just one. There was this teacher in my grade school uh, who fell down a hill. <laughs> they, used to, they, used to, they used to take us out. We said injury. Did you guys have you went to Catholic grade school, right? Yeah. So <laughs> they did this thing where like they would take us to the cemetery. We have to like sit out in the cemetery and like read and like pray. It was really weird. Like sometimes we just sit near a grave. They would like sit, it was called a desert experience. This one lady what? used to sit us next to a grave. We'd each pick one. Then you had to sit and like read like, one of your textbooks near the grave. Whoa. What? Yeah, it was weird. It was called a desert experience. This one lady made us do it. But as we're Jeez, coming, a fucking That's whack job, dude. It was crazy, dude. It was insane. How old were you when this happened? Uh, like seventh grade. Study grade. around that. That's young. We were, we were just, it was like for English class. We read like our novels or books. We'd read. But you still, would read weird. books to dead to, with, to tombstones to, on top of dead people. Yeah. It's called a desert. Going on with that teacher, man, that was a fucking. But I think that teacher was one who did it. The other one was like, if you had to go to the from the school, there's like an old the teacher fell down a hill. No, no, that the teacher who that was a teacher. That was not the teacher who fell That's down a hill. That's she got fired for making kids go to a graveyard. You can't do that. That lady was out of her fucking mind. <laughs> Falling down a hill is so dude. fucking. Fun. Trying to run to keep up on your feet. <laughs> this would do. This was like a 65 year old lady who was like, you know, she was like tall but like pretty, like not like She's, fat, but she was a. He's a hulking woman. She's a hulking old woman. <laughs> and uh, oh, we were walking. It was like a, uh, an October day, I remember, because like, there was a ton of dead leaves on the ground. So she slid on one of the dead leaves <laughs> and then just literally just tumbled, roll, just tumbled like down the thing. And my cousin and uh, my cousin and my friend Bert, my cousin Pat, my friend Bert, ran down the hill pointing at her spinning body going, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> 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 laughing as <laughs> she's falling. And she just came in. She came in, dude. Gave them both the ten. It was the fucking Holy funniest fuck. thing. Because she got up, and was like picking leaves out of it, and like <laughs> <laughs> and there was like, ah, I could have been seriously injured. Dude, this and the one time. So there was.